Welcome to the E. coli detection project instructions video. In this video, you will learn how to collect water sample from a local water source, use a pipette to transfer your water samples onto a petri film, and capture your results of bacteria growth. By completing this project, you will be helping us collect data on water sources across the country, and you will learn some essential skills that may help you later on in the field of science. If you've ordered the kit from the Public Invention website, your kit should include the following. Two pairs of gloves, three pipettes, three feature films, three 5 milliliter sample vials, and one pre-addressed gray envelope presenting your results back. You will also need a permanent marker, a camera for documentation, smartphone will work, and a notepad to write down where you collected your water samples. To help us with our data collection, we request that you email a picture of the water source and the petri films. Be sure to include the name of the body of water and the city. Moving forward, this project can be broken down into three main steps. Water sample collection, pipette water samples onto the petri film, and bacterial growth and results capture. Step one is water sample collection. For this step, you'll need the two milliliter sample vials, one pair of gloves, your permanent marker, and a camera. First, you wanna identify a local body of water that you would like to use for your test. This can be a nearby pond, a creek, or a slow flowing river. Just make sure it's easily accessible. Once you've arrived at your chosen water source, make sure you take a picture so you can share it with us. Put on one pair of gloves and take your vials and fill each with water from the body of water. Remove the gloves and wash your hands afterwards. Write down where you took the sample A and sample B with details such as east side of Bullfrog Creek below the city falls. Return home and make sure you wash your hands. Label the top one of your filled vials with an A and the other one with a V to keep them distinguished for the later steps. If the sample vials come pre-labeled, you can skip this. Step two, pipette water samples onto Petri films. For this step, you'll need the three Petri films, three pipettes, a pair of gloves, and your filled and labeled sample and control vials. You should have Petri films labeled A, B, and C, with C being your control film, which will be filled with tap water from your sink. You can use a clean cup to collect some water to pipette with. Put on your gloves once again and prepare to add your samples as soon as possible after collecting. You can practice by using a pipette a few times beforehand with regular water and a bowl. Squeeze the pipette lower into the water and release. The goal is to collect the water level to one milliliter mark near the top of the tube. This may take a few tries at first, so you can draw a three inch circle on a paper towel and squeeze the pipette onto the center of the circle which should fill out the circle. When you're ready, you want to use a pipette to drop one milliliter of your control water onto the Petri film labeled C. Lay the film on a flat surface with the flaps opening towards you. Fill a one milliliter pipette with water. Lift the flap on the first film and use the pipette to gently spread the solution onto the film. Make sure the pipette does not scratch the film surface and that the water doesn't overflow the film circular area. Once that's been completed, gently roll down the clear sheet on the surface of the film. Make sure there's not a lot of air bubbles between the clear sheet and the film's surface. You will repeat these steps with Petri films labeled A and B, which will contain your collected water. After you've completed these steps, you can discard your vials and use gloves. Make sure you wash your hands. Step 3 is bacterial growth and capturing the results. For this, you will need your camera, your incubated petri films, and the pre-addressed gray envelope. After completing step two, you should take a picture of each of your petri films. These initial pictures will be used as a baseline for visualizing bacteria growth after 48 hours. You will want to move your petri films to a safe place, leaving them lying flat in a room temperature spot. They can safely be stacked together though. Ensure that this is out of reach of pets or younger children. Make sure that it is not in the path of direct sunlight or exposed to high heat as this could sterilize the sample and cause no results. A dark place such as a cabinet or a box would be ideal. Don't forget about your petri films. Make sure you take a picture at the 24 hour mark and then at 48 hours to see if there are any blue spots. Blue spots with little bubbles under the film indicate the presence of E. coli. E. coli produces CO2 as it eats and grows. CO2 is a gas that will be trapped under the film, 
A blue dot without a bubble will be some kind of bacteria that's not E. coli. After taking all your pictures and completing the incubation process, email us the pictures with the timestamps on each one. Using the gray envelope provided, place the petri films and pipettes inside. Ensure that the caps are tightly screwed on to the vials and place them inside as well. Take off your gloves, then seal the envelope and drop them off at a post office. Thank you and congratulations on completing this project.